Hi everyone, welcome to victoriapiking.com and today we are going to make this turkey pancake or a cake, it's pretty big one piece turkey breast uh, covered with amazing butter so I hope you enjoy the idea and stay tuned you can make one turkey breast like I did, one big one or you can make a lot of small ones and there will be something like schnitzel, turkey schnitzel and they will be excellent as well but this time I prefer to do it one big piece so split the turkey like so try not to cut it through but even if you have some holes it doesn't matter because we are going to beat it pretty hard what I'm usually doing I'm covering one of my trays with a, a foil and then I'm covering it with the parchment paper on both sides as you see and then I'm starting to beat it very hard until it's pretty thin thinner it will be tastier it's going to be and more softer next sprinkle it with salt and pepper and then cover it with three to four big garlic cloves just um, finely shred them and uh, with your hands try to cover all of the surface with it then sprinkle everything with smoked paprika and then with starch I'm using arrowroot starch but you can use any starch that you have on hand or all-purpose flour if you're not going to do it gluten-free so use just flour that you like to use very thin coat it should be shake the excess flip to the other side and then sprinkle it with salt pepper and paprika and of course uh, flour or uh, starch now let's make the butter couple of eggs goes in uh, beat them a bit then add your milk I'm using organic uh, full fat milk you can use any milk you prefer uh, then add uh, black pepper and salt tablespoon of uh, or couple of tablespoons of flax seeds and uh, flour here I'm using uh, rice flours and the quinoa flour you can use all-purpose flour instead of all together or you can use those flours that they're much healthier and add uh, your um, baking powder mix all together very well if it's a little bit too thick add a little bit more milk if it's a little bit too thin add a little bit of flour so just make it like thick uh, pancake butter cover the turkey breast with this butter the butter uh, is uh, making the turkey stay moist because all the juices are staying inside and not, not running out to the skillet and it's very important the pretty dry meat of turkey becomes so soft and succulent it's just amazing try to cover all of it with the butter I'm uh, using cast iron because I can pop it inside the oven later and it's very important so use some uh, pan that you can pop inside the oven I preheat it and uh, that's how I uh, check if the oil is done I'm, uh, I'm putting a drop of the um, butter inside the oil and if it started to be bubbly right away it's done so at this point add uh, your uh, turkey breast inside by the way I'm using uh, avocado oil here so use good quality oil don't use canola soybean or uh, corn oil those are pretty bad for your health so now uh, cook it for about two to three minutes per side until it's beautiful and puffed be careful when you flip it the oil is super hot and uh, 
Don't burn yourself, please, please, please. After about two minutes on the other side, pop the oven to 350 Fahrenheit for about uh, 20-25 minutes or until it's done and not pink inside. And look how it looks afterwards. Yum, yum, yum. Cooked through succulent and just amazing. Add condiment of your choice on top of the meat. I love, love, love Cholula hot sauce. It's amazing Mexican sauce, but you don't have to. It's really, really, really good with cranberry sauce. Or uh, just as it is. My son loves it with uh, mustard and ketchup, and it's amazing. By the way, if you have small family, this is pretty f perfect and very fast recipe for Thanksgiving. It's really, really, really nice way to cook your turkey. And it's pretty healthy too. I hope you will give it a go. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, write me a comment, thumbs up me and cheers, Victoria. Love you all. See you next time. Bye! And don't forget to visit violachairs.com. We have awesome sale, 50% off of all our cards. So, see you there.